Hello there, YouTube. Devin here again. Pardon the mess. This is kind of my workbench for the time being, and it's full of gun parts for this gun that I'm building right here. This will be the the next video in the SMLE project, and what we're going to be doing today is um, installing this right here. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, uh, this is in uh, basically a very, very tiny screw. But this very, very tiny screw is a very important part because it happens to be uh, the ejector. This is a very simple ejector. It's not very complicated, uh, unlike a lot of mouthers and stuff like that. And the thing that is really interesting about the SML ejector is they're super easy to replace because this is it. This is the only part. It's not connected to any other part or anything. It's just a tiny little screw that has a little flat bit of metal. I'm trying to stay out of my own camera light here. Uh, it just has a little flat bit of metal on the top, and so when you draw the bolt rearward, all it does is the back of the case. All right, so here's a case of 303 British round. Um, so on this side of the round is the extractor, uh, which is hooked around the rim and pulls it out. Um, and this screw, uh, the, the ejector screw here, is going to be situated on this side of the round. So the extract, uh, so the ejector um, will be on this side, uh, sorry, the, uh, this side right here, all right, and it'll be behind the rim, and the extractor is on this side, uh, which will be over the rim. So as you're pulling the bolt back, all right, the claw that's on this side, uh, where my index finger is here, uh, the extractor will be pulling the spent case backwards, and the spent case uh, will get caught on this front little nub of this screw, and it'll throw the case out the side of the gun. And uh, so a lot of you probably have experience with Mausers and how the ejectors are complicated pieces of metal um, and stuff like that. And Mosin ejectors and interrupters are kind of their own complicated pieces of metal. And this is actually a very smart thing to do because this is a part that uh, wears out really, really quickly on the SMLEs, the little ejector screws. They're cheap and they're still around. They made millions of them. And all you have to do is, uh, you can see right here, there's a little hole in the side of the receiver. Uh, you just unscrew the new one. Now, the weird thing about them is, is they have a very, you probably can't see because it won't focus, um, but they have a very, very narrow um, slot cut into this flathead screw. Um, so you need a very, very narrow kind of tiny screwdriver uh, in order to fit. So, uh, because it's such a, a narrow channel inside the screwdriver, uh, inside the, sorry, inside the head of the screw. So all you gotta do is, you know, put your screw on your screwdriver and then you unscrew your old screw and you screw this new one in. And I recommend you lubricate it so it's easy to come out. And then you just make sure it's snug. Tighten it up really good, because obviously if it doesn't stick out far enough, it's not going to eject the rounds, so, and then uh, we'll give it a test here, so, open your thing, I and I have the magazine cut off, so it'll, I don't need a magazine to close, close the, uh, the, helps if I get it under the extractor, I suppose. So we'll give it a test here now, and give it a try, and hopefully it'll all work out so there you go so I'm not gonna close it all the way but so there we go now it's in uh, you can see right here uh, the extractor claw is over the rim of the round and when I pull back it should hopefully hit the ejector screw which is now screwed in place right there and it should throw the round out just like that works like a charm and uh, so that is a pretty interesting part uh, that a lot of people take for granted on the SMLE and uh, it works quite well, as you can see. It's very easy to fix. Uh, so I bought a bunch of them. I have spares now because I happen to have a few SMLEs and they all take the same ejector screw, uh, which is really nice, thankfully. So that's how you replace an ejector screw on an SMLE if you have problems uh, with your SMLE ejecting, which unfortunately a lot of the really, really old ones will have. So, or um, eventually will run out of uh, be able to not eject properly, and that's that's as easy as it is to fix. You you order yourself one of these little little screws here, and uh, you unscrew your old one, pop in your new one, and you're all set to go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and you subscribe if you like this sort of thing. Uh, I was able to buy that screw, uh, these little ejector screws, 
uh, thanks to uh, my generous Patreon supporters. Um, I, I don't make tons of money off Patreon, but if you think I'm worth a uh, donation as little as a buck a month, we'll get you access to the Discord, and if you participate in the Discord, um, you may be asked to be on a live stream uh, eventually, so that would be pretty awesome. I like having guests on live streams, and I also really, really like the support because it allows me to, to make videos like this and do projects like this to show you guys how to maintain uh, wonderful pieces of history like this, this SMLE right here. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you uh, like this video and subscribe if you like this sort of thing. And if you think I'm worth a donation, I very much appreciate it. It means a lot to me. So, especially since it will allow me to continue to keep doing projects like this and keep preserving history and keep teaching people how to preserve their own history as well. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And hopefully I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.